Well, the rate of diabetes keeps going up in America and the world. And uh, I want to talk about type 2 diabetes, which makes up about 98% of the diabetic population in America and the world. And uh, I want to talk about it from the standpoint of what it is and what it's not. Well, first of all, what it's not is genetic. It's not genetically transmitted, as the doctors will say. It's um, not a disease that um, can be prevented and cured by losing weight. It is not a disease that can be prevented and cured by exercising. It is not a disease that can be prevented and cured by eating right. Uh, type 2 diabetes is a simple mineral deficiency. We've known this for 70 years, and I urge you to get a hold of that book, Hell's Kitchen. The subtitle is The Cause, Prevention, and Cure of Obesity and Type 2 Diabetes and the Metabolic Syndrome, which is kind of a pre-diabetic high blood pressure state. So I also want you to get a hold of the CD called The Best of Dead Doctors Don't Lie, which goes into blood sugar problems, including diabetes. Well, diabetes, as I said, is a simple mineral deficiency disease. And I want everybody to uh, get a hold of um, what we call the Healthy Start Pack, one Healthy Start Pack per 100 pounds of body weight. This is going to give them the basic 90 essential nutrients in a mix of 245 nutrients. We're talking about 115 fruits and vegetables, 115 fruits and vegetables, 115. We're not talking about 8, 10, 12, 20. We're talking about 115, plus all 90 essential nutrients, 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids, and then the secret sauce to support and promote healthy metabolism of carbohydrates, of uh, fats, and sugars at the cellular level, and to support and promote healthy blood sugar levels, is what we call Sweeties. And Sweeties... Um, is a blend of minerals and vitamins and a couple of herbs which um, uh, support and promote, again, healthy metabolism of carbohydrates, fats, and sugars at the cellular level and healthy blood sugar levels. Again, that's the um, healthy um, start pack, one per 100 pounds of body weight per month. The Sweeties, I like people to take two or three of those, depending on how bad or good their diabetes is, uh, two or three of those twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. And take your fasting blood sugar every morning before you medicate yourself. Now, if your blood sugar goes up because you've eaten badly the night before and you're eating pumpkin pie with ice cream on it and having, you know, uh, soft drinks with all the sugar in it and so forth, and your blood sugar 200, well, obviously you got to take a significant amount of medication, be it pills or insulin. But let's say your blood sugar is running 140 to 160 in the, fa in the morning fasting before medication, before the healthy blood sugar pack, we call it. And then you take the healthy blood sugar pack, and within a couple of days, suddenly now your uh, fasting blood sugar in the morning before you medicate yourself has dropped from, say, 140 down to 90. Well, certainly, at the very least, you would cut your medication in half, or maybe by two-thirds. And if your blood sugar then drops down to below 100, let's say it goes to 80, 90, somewhere in there, and you don't need to take any medication. Well, let's say that happens for four or five days in a row, and it drops down to 72, comes up to 85, and then 78, 82. It's kind of running in that range without medication because you're taking your healthy blood sugar pack, appropriate for body weight, twice a day, full dose for anything at breakfast, full dose for anything at dinner, and you're testing yourself, doing what your physician tells you to do. And a after a couple of weeks, with your blood sugar being down below, say, 90, uh, without medication, I would say, you know, stop taking your medication. Now, if it goes back up, you've got to begin to take your medication. But if it stays down in there and it's running between 70 and 80 and 70, 90, 90 and 50 and 60 and so on, uh, you don't need to take the medication anymore because now you've given your body all the nutrition it needs by supplementing with a healthy start pack which is, and the sweeties, which is translated to the healthy blood sugar pack. And, again, we help thousands of people, really, per day across America in, in as many as 50 countries um, support a healthy blood sugar metabolism. As a result, they're able to wean off their medication and go back to a fairly normal life. Now, people always ask me, well, how long do you have to stay on these healthy blood sugar packs if you were historically a uh, diabetic or had the metabolic syndrome or had prediabetes or blood sugar problems of some kind? Well, you have to stay on it forever. Um, this is the nutrients your body requires to maintain itself forever. Uh, you need oxygen as long as you're alive. You need water as long as you're alive. You need the 90 essential nutrients as long as you're alive. That's what they're called essential nutrients. You cannot make them. You must consume them every day proactively. And if you're missing them, you get horrible diseases. There can be as many as 900 different diseases 
uh, that um, can be afflicted upon you by nutritional deficiencies. Now, we've eliminated all those diseases in pet animals, laboratory animals, and livestock by supplementing their diets with the 90 essential nutrients. And so having a degree in agriculture, having a degree in veterinary medicine, being a comparative pathologist, and having um, been uh, educated as a naturopathic physician, um, telling you that the things that we've learned in animals work in people. I've been doing this for 40 years, and it never fails. We can help you significantly to have a better quality of life. We'll add many healthy years to your life. We can wean you off your medication. And you're just going to do whatever your doctor tells you to do. We'll wean you off your medication. Wow. You can be an ex-diabetic. Well, stick with us. We're going to be back with more Truth, Justice, and the Yongevity Way on Dead Doctors Don't Lie after these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? I thought we'd continue talking about diabetes here as I have a Fox News story. And this is actually kind of a bit of an editorial written by Fox News' health expert, Dr. Manny Alvarez. And he starts out saying, diabetes is a huge problem in the U.S. Goes on to say that according to statistics from the International Diabetes Federation, 552 million, that's one out of every 10 adults, will have diabetes by 2030, so just a few years down the road here. And they say the jump would be more than 200 million people with type 2 diabetes over two decades. That come, And according to the World Health Organization, or WHO, they estimate that there's about 346 million that would suffer from the disease right now. And they go on to say the projected rise is due more to aging than the obesity epidemic, according to the Diabetes Federation. They say they've also seen a rise recently in children and young adults developing diabetes. They say 20 years ago, type 2 diabetes was virtually unheard of in people that young. And they say the thing is, type 2 diabetes is entirely preventable with certain lifestyle changes. And I thought, oh, they're going to talk about the Mighty 90, as Doc would talk about. But no, they take the left-hand turn again. And they say, according to another study, there's five simple habits that a person could develop in order to cut their risk of getting diabetes by as much as 80%. So here's what you need to do. You need to have a healthy diet, including lots of fruits and vegetables. Exercise three times a week for at least 20 minutes. Maintain a normal BMI, which is 18.5 to 24.9 and abstain from smoking and consume alcohol in moderate amounts. They say these five guidelines were found to be the most effective in preventing type 2 diabetes. They say men of the normal weight were about 70% less likely of developing type 2 diabetes, and women of a normal weight, 78% were less likely to develop type 2 diabetes. And I think you might have something different to say on that topic. Well, yeah, as we said in the monologue today, Doug, type 2 diabetes is a simple... Nutritional deficiency is certainly not genetic, as doctors would have you believe. But this is kind of a shift away from that genetic thing, because when they say you can um, uh, acquire these five habits and you reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes significantly, uh, do they give a percentage you can reduce it by? Uh, They said 80% less likely. Okay, 80%. Okay. Now, they say you can reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes by 80% by doing these lifestyle changes. That tells you immediately that it's not genetic. Because there's no habit that you can acquire. It's not like you can sleep two more hours, you walk around the block two more times, you eat two bananas a day kind of thing, uh, take two bottles of vitamins. Uh, there's nothing you can do from an from a acquisition of a behavior or lifestyle that will alter the way that a genetic disease manifests itself. So you know immediately just fourth grade biology that this is not genetic. They've already done the work and, and they're equivocating now. <clears throat> they say for the most part is preventable. Well, you can't prevent a genetic disease other than by sterilizing the, uh, or killing the carrier of the genes. So um, this is uh, the same thing uh, they talked about when it came to uh, Alzheimer's disease. They said, oh, just a couple of lifestyle changes, you can prevent Alzheimer's disease. Well, then you know it's not genetic. You don't have to do billions of dollars worth of research to see if these things are genetic. They've already done it. Well, thank you so much. As usual, Doug, you've hit the nail on the head. Get the uh, healthy blood sugar pack, get the book Hell's Kitchen, and stay away from doctors. We'll be back after these messages. 
Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And Paul, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Paul, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Yes, Thank sir. Thank you taking my call. You bet. What's up? I'm calling about my wife. My wife is uh, 47. Okay. And for the last four or five years or so, she's had a continuous stomach problems, like stomach sickness. Her stomach is always in a state of, like, stomach sickness, and it comes and goes. Some days good, some days bad. Uh, she's been to the doctor several times about it, and he's given her uh, Prevacid, thinking that it may be an acid problem. Uh, it works a little bit, and but it doesn't completely take it away. So it's now she only keeps it for when it gets when it flares up. She sure. doesn't take it constantly anymore. Okay. Well, let me ask you quickly before we move on for more information. Uh-huh. Um, when you say she has stomach problems, does she have constipation where she needs laxatives or fiber? Does she have reflux? Does she have heartburn? What does she got? No, that's. That's the funny thing. The doctor suggested she might have acid reflux, but she doesn't have heartburn. Uh, No, she doesn't have any bowel problems, just a constant stomach sickness. Uh, They did put a tube down in her stomach a couple years ago to see if she had ulcers or anything like that, and they couldn't find anything. They did all kinds of blood work. Okay, I'm going to stop you because that word sickness doesn't mean anything to me. When you say she has a stomach sickness, does she have belly pain? Does she throwing up or feel nauseous? No, just just constantly nausea. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. That helps me. Now, yeah. uh, let me ask you another question uh, or two. Does she have any skin problems like dry skin, eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea on her face, anything like that? No. Nope. Okay, does she have any history of respiratory problems, asthma, chronic bronchitis? No. Nope. Okay. Other than that, she's been fairly, fairly healthy. Okay. Uh, what does she weigh? She weighs about 180 right oh, now. Okay, and how tall is she? About 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, okay. All right, well, hang on. We'll come back. I'll ask you a couple more questions, and I believe I know what her problem is, and we'll give you some information after I ask you a couple more questions. We'll be right back with you, Paul. All right, I guess we're going back to uh, Alberta, Canada, and uh, Paul. And um, just a couple more questions here. Do you have children, Paul? Yeah. One. Okay. One, okay. How old are they? He's 14. Okay, great. Congratulations. Now, do they? Do this child have any um, asthma, bronchitis, skin problems, constipation, diarrhea, anything like that? Nope. Okay, good. That's very, very good. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, for your wife, uh, let's get her off all the bad stuff, and uh, that would include for her uh, something called gluten. This is a protein you find in wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Let's put her on a gluten-free diet, uh, especially since doctors can't find anything, and she has this constant problem, and it kind of goes away a little bit, and then one day it flares up. You might keep a little diet diary and um, uh, see what she eats and when it flares up. But I'd get her off of all gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats in any way, shape, or form. We actually have a CD called Cereal Killers, and it wouldn't hurt for you, your wife, and your um, child to listen to Cereal Killers and find out all the hidden places you find gluten, wheat, barley, rye, and oats, so you can avoid those things. And I would also get rid of all fried foods, no exceptions. I'd get rid of all processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no exceptions. Get rid of all oils. That means no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. If you eat canned fish, it's fine, but they've got to be cooked, um, or excuse me, they've got to be packed in um, water, uh, things like, um, uh, oh, mustard or, t- or tomato sauce instead of oil. Okay, get rid of all that stuff. Then a supplement program for a 180-pound person would be two healthy start packs per month. Two healthy start packs per month, one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner, and all that will be accomplished by the two healthy start packs per month. Then, for the stomach uh, sickness, I'd have her take the ultimate enzymes. I'd have her take one or two of those two to five minutes before each meal with a couple ounces of water. And then I would also have our Ancient Legacy Peppermint Oil. And I'd have her put two or three or four drops, whatever is more interesting for her, uh, in eight ounces of water in a, in a coffee mug, the hot water, and sip on that uh, before a meal, through the meal, and then finish it off at the end of the meal. And, of course, peppermint oil is legendary for um, dealing with uh, stomach nausea and so forth. And so that's where I would start. And then call me every two weeks, if you would, please, Paul, and bring us up to date. Let us know how your wife is doing, and um, uh, we'll make any adjustments we need to. But this should get you started. The diet is important. It is absolutely important, especially the gluten-free thing. you got to get her off of that. Okay, Douglas, go to callers. 
Uh, we're just about 15 seconds okay. away from break time. Okay. Yeah. So let me take that 15 seconds and I'll remind you that um, you should get a hold of that trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins, minerals, and trace minerals, and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, aromatherapy, oils. It's the trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy. We'll be back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS radio network after these messages. Let's head to Was- uh, Everett, Washington, and... Lee, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Lee, you're on the air. Thank you for taking my call, Dr. Wallach. Yes, sir. How can I help um, you? One month ago, I called you. <clears throat> I have scleroderma and diabetes, too. And my, my uh, lab tests were showing that my glucose was 298. And my blood sugar testing every day was 250 to 280. You recommended I get on Sweeties, which I ordered right away. I've been on them about three weeks. My glucose now has dropped to 156. My daily uh, blood sugar is 120 to 160 and going down. Great. Um, My question is, is for about the last month and a half, I've had a lot of pain in my muscles at points where I can't sleep at night. And I was wondering if you could recommend something for that. I'm on uh, uh, your bone and joint and Mm -hmm. sweeties and selenium. Okay. And, uh, daily tabs and all that stuff. Good. Now, d- tell me. Yeah. Okay. Now, tell me how much you weigh. Uh, well, I've lost twenty-seven pounds since I started three and a half months ago. I'm one eighty-nine. Congratulations. Okay, one eighty-nine. Now, um, did you have when you had scleroderma? Did you have any numbness uh, of the legs and feet, anything like that? No. Okay. Um, do you have any like sciatica, where you had leg pain? Uh, hip pain, burning in the feet? No. Okay. And this uh, discomfort you have, is it global? Is it all over your body? Is it just in your shins, or where is it? Basically in my shoulders, and it goes up down my arms and the muscles, and sometimes across my chest. Okay. It's been going on for like six weeks or so. Okay. Now, are you taking any glucogel in your program? Yes. Okay. How much you taking? I'm taking uh, four tablets in the morning, four tablets in the evening. And, and okay, so we went 189. Yeah, you're a little bit short on those. Uh, when it comes to um, a program, uh, what I would do for you, and I just kind of reiterate it, at um, 189 pounds, I would have you take two of the Healthy Start packs per month. There's a, there's a, the whole thing combined would be called the Healthy Bone and Joint Pack. And I'd have you take uh, one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangy Tangy Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner, all that will be accomplished by the two Healthy Start Packs per month. And now that we've been doing this for a while and you're seeing some benefit, you lost some weight, um, the um, blood sugar is coming down, so you're doing good. So some of that we're going to keep the same, some we're going to change a little bit. So in addition to the two Healthy Start Packs per month, I would have you get an extra quart of the Osteo FX Plus so you can take a third ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at bedtime with a glass of water. I'd also like you to make sure you're taking a minimum of three of the Sweeties twice a day. You could speed things up if you want to by taking Sweeties since you're responding so very well. You could take three Sweeties three times a day, and uh, that would be three bottles a month if you want to speed it up. Or you can just stick with three twice a day, two bottles a month of the Sweeties. And, uh, you know, continue to uh, test your fasting blood sugar before you medicate yourself because you don't want to get in trouble with with um, uh, glucose uh, problems, right? And... Um, then I would also increase your glucogel from four twice a day to 15 a day. That would be imperative here. Five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. That's two of the large 240-count bottles of glucogel. And, again, the selenium, three of those uh, twice a day. Better yet, three three times a day if you can do that. And the sweeties, uh, again, take uh, three to uh, twice a day to three three times a day. And if you do that, then give me a call. If you want some relief from the muscle pain, you can get the CM Cream. This is a legendary cream, CMC for cat, M for Mary, CM Cream. And you can apply it topically to uh, the um, area of discomfort, whether it's a joint or the muscle itself. And you're going to, within two to five minutes, you're going to get significant or total relief for like four to five hours. And so if you do that three times a day, do it once when you wake up. Do it in the middle of the day sometime. Do it uh, sort of late in the day, and then before you go to bed, uh, you'll be amazed. You can have a pain-free uh, time, uh, 24-hour period there, uh, symptom-free, 
uh, and, and after a while, this uh, will get better. Now, here's why. There is a lot of numbness that goes along with this stuff. You just don't know it. And when the numbness begins to go away, suddenly now that underlying discomfort was always there, but you were sort of anesthetized by the numbness. And when the numbness goes away, the discomfort is still there. And so you're going, you're, you're healing in layers. Uh, you're absorbing well because your blood sugar is dropping, your weight's dropping. And so that's all very, very good. Stick on the diet, no fried foods, no processed meats, no nitrates and nitrites, no oils, absolutely no gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, and oats. And you're going to be a new man. Give me a call every two weeks, Lee, and keep bringing us up to date. We're going to walk you through this. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Maryland. And Bill, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Bill, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Yes, sir. Uh, pleasure talking with you. Thank you. I'm Bill from Baltimore. Uh, I'm just like, uh, I have a, a friend, she has a granddaughter that has uh, no Roy's disease. I'm sorry, what and, uh, what, wait a minute, wait a minute, what kind of disease? It's called Milroy's. She says M, M as in Mary, okay. I-L-R-O-Y. And, oh, okay. Uh, Can you tell me how that manifests itself? I've never heard of one. That's another doctor who named something after himself. Uh, the child is uh, 13 years old, and her feet swell. It's, it, it, she says a lot of swelling in her feet and her hands, and it's like all over her body. Mm -hmm. Called Milroy. M I L R O Y. Oh. Okay, does she have, do, okay, other than this edema or swelling, does she have any other. Uh, problems? Does she have any skin problems? Eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, you know, kind of red acne on her face, anything like that? Right. It, uh, the, well, she said, she emailed me a picture of it, and the uh, around her feet, it did, like, change colors, like with the rashes on it. Okay, okay, good. Very good. That's useful. Do you know if she has any um, respiratory problems, like, egg, excuse me, like uh, asthma, bronchitis? No, she doesn't have asthma, but she does have, uh, it, it affects her breathing. Okay, so she does have breathing problems. Okay. Uh -huh. And what about uh, bowel movements? Do you know if she has any constipation or diarrhea? Oh, I didn't even ask her. Yeah, well, you can. Okay, well, at any rate, um, let's see here. B -b 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 what does she weigh? She weighs, uh, she's 13 years old. She mm -hmm. weighs 110 pounds, and she's 4 feet 11. Five foot eleven? Four feet. 11. Oh, four, I was going to say five foot eleven and 110. She's skinny. Okay. Five foot, uh, four foot eleven. Okay. Well, hang on. Get your pen and paper. I'm going to give you a program for her after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS radio network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Jivity and 90 for Life Crusade. And, Doug, let's go right back to Maryland and Bill. Okay, uh, for this 13-year-old kid who weighs 110 pounds, has this rash problem, breathing problems. She's got a gluten intolerance, I believe. Sweet uh, feet swelling could be low protein. And so what I want her to do is eat uh, four to six eggs a day. Uh, she's got to get rid of all the gluten out of her life. No gluten, no wheat, barley, rye, oats, absolutely no processed meats and nitrates, nitrites, no fried foods, and certainly no oils, no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils, and if she eats canned fish, she's got to make sure they're packed in water, mustard, or tomato sauce, not oil. Then a supplement program would be one healthy start pack per month, divided in half, that's a tablespoon of the OsteoFX Plus at breakfast and dinner, one scoop of the Beyond Tan Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, the three EFA Pluses that are designated per day per healthy start pack would be one for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner, or if she's going to school, she could have one for breakfast, two for dinner. And um, then I would also uh, make sure that uh, she's getting the... Um, uh, I'm sure she's having this, this swelling. Wouldn't hurt for have the um, herbal rainforest. I give her a tablespoon at bedtime, which is a half ounce, a tablespoon at bedtime with a glass of water. And then call me every couple of weeks and let me know how she's doing. I want to know if she's gaining weight, losing weight. I want to know how her skin is doing, her breathing problems, and her weight and, and the swelling, of course. But don't forget the eggs and get away from the bad stuff, particularly wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Uh, get her that CD called Cereal Killers so that she knows uh, where all the sources of gluten are. That includes dry cat and dog food. They are a great source of gluten. And so if you're gluten intolerant, you got to either 
get rid of the dried cat and dog food, have me canned dog food is probably the best way. Okay, Doug, we have time to squish in another one? Yeah, let's head to Maryland. And Darlene, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Darlene, you're on the air. Hi, I'm Dr. Wallach. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. What's up? I was calling because I was diagnosed with him for about 20 years. But what happened, I had two exacerbations in the same month. But I guess they wasn't so bad because I take your minerals. But I ended up going in the hospital. So then when the lady was saying, um, I need to give you some sleeping pills, and I was like, no, you don't. She said, well, you're not going to sleep. And I was like, I'm going to sleep because, see, I take the minerals, the nine need the life minerals, which I always took them. So then um, they couldn't believe that I was sleeping. But where I messed up was I used to eat gluten, which I just stopped at a week ago. Wow. And I said, now I've got to straighten out the diet and don't eat nothing fried. So I was wondering, what else do I need to do? Because oh, I ended up getting some other stuff. Which I got the um, what was it the um ultimate belly, which I always mm-hmm. had the EFA plus. Excellent. You know, um, Excellent. Now, Darlene, yeah, you want to stay away from all the wheat, barley, rye, and oats if you're gluten intolerant. And, of course, that uh, CD, Serial Killers, tells you where you find it. It's hidden in everything. It's hidden in yogurt. For you got to read labels. Even on yogurt, you get uh, shelled nuts of any kind. you got to read the allergy stuff on the back. It'll say these nuts were processed on machinery that also processes wheat products. You can't eat those nuts because that dust floating around in that bag is all that wheat flour. And so you, you, you try, you know, you're innocent and you eat those things trying to do good and you're getting glutened all the time there. And then what do you weigh, Darlene? One twenty one and a half. Okay, good. So you're going to have one healthy start pack per month divided in half, half a dose of each of the three products of breakfast and dinner. And um, let's see, what else do you have besides the gluten intolerance? I, I didn't catch that in the beginning. There was a lot of static on the line. Oh, okay, um, which I'm not eating nothing no more with the gluten, because, like, with that okay. that I had. Okay. Um, That's fine. And then, well, um, yeah, so that, are you, you're taking the ultimate daily tablets. Do you have high blood pressure? Because um, I don't have high blood pressure, nothing like that. And I guess it's this cell phone that's acting up. Okay. We just, you know, just um, make sure you're getting off the gluten, listen to that CD, and then call me back in two weeks and see if you have any more improvement. Uh, appreciate you, Jarlene. Look forward to hearing from you in two weeks. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Doug and Billy. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. <laughs> 